We want to help improve your life by keeping you informed about health matters affecting you and your family. Working in partnership with our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, we believe it's a privilege and a responsibility to serve you in tonight's Sinclair Cares Report. We are focusing on breast cancer awareness, the importance of breast self-exams, and what you need to know if you find a lump. Go to the rest of the UK since I've been to Ireland already. So Julie Shackett, a travel yeah. fanatic, always on the go. She recently felt something unusual in her breast that stopped her in her tracks. It just felt like a hard mass. It was just different. Just 36 years old, she'd never had a mammogram before, but she went in for one out of precaution. And I just knew that something wasn't right. It was just it hadn't been there before and it shouldn't be there. The lump turned out to be breast cancer. I was shocked, absolutely. This is the area of the, the tumor in Julie's breast. Dr. Molly Sebastian with Virginia Hospital Center says many women are intimidated by breast self-exams. It's hard for, for women to know what's normal, what's abnormal, What's my normal density and, and what, what would something bad feel like? She says the key is to do them once a month to establish what your normal feels like so that something abnormal stands out to you. Look for any change in appearance, including dimpling of the skin, redness or fluid, and feel for changes like lumps, swelling or soreness. There should never be something as hard as your knuckle in this area. And if you find something, visit your doctor right away. We are very effective at treating breast cancer when we catch it early. So that's the goal, early detection. Julie didn't perform regular self-exams before, but says she will now and encourages other women to do the same. It's time that we pay attention to our bodies and know what's going on and really is important to make sure that we are checking. And we have additional breast cancer awareness information on the Sinclair Cures page on WJLA.com. Leon? All right. Thanks, Michelle.